Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you how to create this beautiful colorful table for your guests. No oven needed. All recipes are served cold and they are so easy to do. So let's start. The first thing I'm doing is these no bake savory mini cheesecake. I recommend to prepare it the night before so it sets perfectly in the fridge. But if you shorten time, you can also do it in the morning for the same night as it need to set in the fridge for at least 6 hours. First, line a muffin tin with paper liners, then set aside. This recipe will make exactly 12 pieces. Use a food processor or a blender to ground the crackers. Here I'm using club crackers, but you can use any savory crackers you like. In a mixing bowl, add the ground crackers, add the melted butter, combine until all comes together. It will look like a wet sand. Take about one tablespoon of a mixture and place it in each cup of the muffin tin and press it down with the back of a spoon or a small glass to compact it all in the bottom. All the ingredients and the exact measurement are listed down below the video in the description box. Okay, now the base for the cheesecake are done, I'm gonna move on to the filling. Really important that the cream cheese has been softened at room temperature. If you guys are new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. In a mixing bowl, beat cream cheese, ricotta cheese and salt. In this video, I choose to make two different types of cheesecake. So I separate the filling equally into two bowls. The first one is inspired by the famous tomato mozzarella salad called caprese salad. I'm using fresh basil leaves. I stack the basil leaves together, roll and then cut it into thin slices. Add it to the cheese mixture and mix well. Then I added some mozzarella cheese. I mix again and set aside. For the second one, I use surimi, also called crab sticks or crab meat, which I cut into small pieces. I left some for the topping. Add it to the second cheese mixture and mix well. I also chopped some fresh dill. This is gonna make it taste even better. Take the cheesecake base out of the fridge. Fill each muffin liner with this mixture all the way to the top and press it down with the back of the spoon to make sure that everything stays together when it's time to serve. Pop it in the fridge overnight. Now all what you have to do is to top it before you serve it. We'll see this at the end of the video. The second appetizer is a kind of small sandwiches. I am using soft white bread, but whole wheat bread is perfectly acceptable. The main thing is to use fresh bread. With a round cookie cutter, start cutting perfect circles out of the bread, the salami, and the cheese. Use the same cookie cutter size so that all circles are the exact same size. I'm using homemade chicken salami, so I try to cut it a bit thicker than the cheese so that they look prettier when they stack on top of each other. You can buy them pre-cut from the daily. Now it's time to assemble. Start with bread, then salami, then cheese, then bread. You can spread some mayo or cream cheese if you like into the bread. I top the whole thing with chopped dill relish and a tiny mozzarella cheese ball. Then secure it all with a plastic toothpick. All of these sandwiches will keep for a few hours as long as you cover them so the bread doesn't dry out. Now we're gonna start working on the toast. 
tuna rillette it's simple and creamy spread for this easy and quick recipe all you need is a bowl and a fork place tuna in medium mixing bowl and break up with fork until tuna is broken into fine pieces add the mayo and mix with a fork into a paste season with salt pepper some italian seasoning and mix again now add one chopped hard boiled egg and mix again last thing to do is to add some fresh lemon juice you can use a pastry bag if you want the toast to have a specific look but you can also use a spoon as you can see it is not that hard to do Top it with some paprika and chives. Now I'm going to show you my favorite is mimosa egg verine. I am a big fan of mimosa eggs, but this time I wanted to give it a different look. Delicately slice open the eggs and separate the yolk. Gently crush the egg yolk with a fork and mix in the mayo. Here I'm looking for a thick paste. I don't want it to be too runny so it sets good in the verine. Finally, chop the egg white using a cheese slicer or egg slicer if you have one. Add the spices to the yolk mixture and mix well. Arrange evenly in a verine or cocktail glass starting with the white. Then add the egg yolk mixture. I am making this verin two different ways. So I choose to add some dill relish to some of them. Personally, I prefer the one without, but it's a matter of personal preference. Then add the egg white. My recommendation is to always start and finish with the egg white. Top with paprika and chives before you serve it. Don't forget to let me know if you try it in the comments below and tell me how you like it. I make sure to add one mini spoon with each verine so the guests won't have to look for it. Now it's time to prepare the topping for the cheesecakes. I start by dicing two tomatoes. Make sure it's sweet and red. I also slice the mini mozzarella and the crab sticks. Take the muffin tin out of the fridge. The cheesecake should feel firm to the touch. My recommendation is to put the mini cheesecake in the plate that you're gonna use to present to your guests before you top it. This will prevent any mess that could happen if you have to move it afterwards. Top the first type of cheesecake with tomatoes, mozzarella and fresh basil leaves. And the second one with the crab meat and the fresh dill. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment below which one is your favorite. See you in the next video!